You're all guessing. I got to show you something. Here's what some of his supporters in Biloxi, Mississippi said last night about the charge. I don't believe it at all. I don't. I don't believe it at all. Screw them damn Muslims. That's a bunch of baloney. I don't believe it a second of it. No. I think it's stupid. Stupid news. News people. It's not happening. It's not happening. Just making Donald Trump look bad. They don't believe the video is real. Right. They don't believe the video of anything. They don't believe any bad piece of information about Trump. Um, this is the irony or the horror from the point of view of the Republican establishment that he can say anything, do anything. It can be completely wrong. Well, it's a fascinating it, I, thing I, he's trying to do, though, which is to, uh, you know, stupid news people. That, yeah. that, 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 right. Right. Uh, right. And so in every rally, he points out the press standing back right. there and he points to them and he says, a little those people lie, those people but, are awful. Right. Those a little antagonistic. This is Donald Trump who lives on the exposure <laughs> that we right. and others give him. I think saying. you're right. When a candidate, an opponent points out his inexperience in politics, yeah. that's when he goes ballistic. Uh -huh. And he's too bombastic and too short sighted to understand that these comments resonate around the world. Those, those... And when, when he gets called on it, he lashes but let out. Me, let, me, let me point something else to you, Chris, because by the way, I think you're, you're going to be interviewing Hillary Clinton. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday, right? Uh, he does find a way to get at the one thing that a, somebody doesn't want to talk about. And while it's always benefited Hillary Clinton whenever there's conversation about Bill Clinton's past, mm. she hates talking about it. Well, who would? Who would like talking right. about it? It's a you soft know, spot. I, what I just want to talk about is you know, a great clip of those two people, or three people down there in Biloxi. There is a revolutionary spirit in this country right now. That I've been reading. I went back and saw the two versions of Tale of Two Cities, and, I, <laughs> and I've been reading it in a Dickens book. It's about this anger. That we're going to talk about later to Paul. This deep anger yep. among the people about the establishment, the ancien regime, yep. the Bourbons, the Bushes, yep. wars wow. we don't, wars that are wars our guy, young men have to fight in yep. and back, get back into the more and more deployments, trade deals to give away the good jobs yep. to China, immigration that gives the bad jobs to the immigrants, and people are so angry about that they don't want to hear details about what's, what Shabab is up to. You know what you just did? You just.